الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين I start in the name of Allah the all merciful the ever merciful and the everlasting curse on the satans and his followers Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the prophet and upon his pure family our respected viewers, as usual, allow me to quote one of the sayings of the Master of Martyrs when he says, People are slaves to this world. As long as they live their lives favorably and comfortably, they are deeply loyal to their religious principles. However, at hard times, the times of trials, few religious people are scarce. Our respected viewers, let us ponder deeply over the words of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. And let us open our hearts to understand what message is this great Imam is trying to convey to the entire world in general and to the Muslim world in particular. Al Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam is conveying the message that the religion should never be considered as a piece of wax in the hands of people so they can shape it the way they like. Religion, more importantly, is the word of God that should highly respect it and should highly be appreciated as well. Peace be upon your respected viewers and welcome to Is Imam Hussein, a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday, then going through the different stories and events that happened to him through his life, and then we mention some of the prophetic quotes said by his grandfather in his right, and then we end up with his unmatchable and parallel martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, Imam Hussein's childhood was both a blessing and a trial for the Messenger of Allah and his daughter Fatima, Allah's blessings and peace be upon them all. It was a blessing and joy because of their deep love, compassion and affection towards their son, Al Hussein, as well as his many virtues indeed. But it was a trial because they had to bear knowing that he would be killed on the sands of Karbala. One example of this occasion was the occasion when Umm al fadl bin al Harith brought Al Hussein bin Ali alayhi salam with her and to visit the Prophet of Islam. She says, I put Hussein in his lamb, meaning in the lamp of Prophet of Islam. His gaze turned away from me, and I saw that his eyes were flowing with tears. I said, my father and mother be sacrificed for you, O Messenger of Allah. May I know what's wrong with you? The Prophet said, Gabriel, peace be upon him, came to me and told me that my community will unjustly seek to kill the son of mine. And he brought me some soil stained red by his blood. This is one of the occasions that when Ali Imam Hussein alayhi salam has been told that he would be killed by the nation of his grandfather, namely Prophet of Islam. A group of those people would seek to kill Imam Hussein merely to satisfy their revenge of what his father Ali had done unto them. Our respected viewers, another tradition, as a child Hussein bin Ali alayhi salam understood the great destiny laid before him. Al-Mufid, may Allah be pleased with him, describes an occasion upon which the Prophet was seated surrounded by the members of his family, namely Ali, his daughter Fatima, and his two little grandson Hassan and Hussein. Allah's blessings and peace be upon them all. He said to them, namely Prophet of Islam, how would you feel if you were killed and your tombs were scattered apart from each other? al Hussein alayhi salam replied, will we die naturally or be killed? The Prophet said, You will be killed unjustly, O my little son, as will your brother Hassan. Salam. Your offspring will be scattered all over the land. Al Imam Hussein said, O Messenger of Allah, and who will kill us unjustly? The Prophet said, The evil men from among people. Al Hussein then said, Will anyone visit us after we are killed, O Prophet of Islam? Upon which the Prophet said, Yes, my little son, a group from my nation will gain my grace and favor by visiting you. On day of judgment, I will bring them to that place so that I may take them by their arms and save them 
from the terrors and sorrows of that horrible day. Our respected viewers, we have come to an end of this episode. Let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the master of our time and to make us from his soldiers and supporters and to enable him to interpret verbatim the message of his grandfather Al Hussein bin Ali when he says, I only desire to spread good values and to eliminate evil. This is what we have for you in today's episode. Until we meet with the new episodes, thank you very much indeed for joining us. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.